So, um, when it came to me and him, so like he showed me around the school, he showed me some places, he was escorting me around some places, showing me where South Wing is and where the offices are and blah, 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 blah. And yeah, then he went back to class because it, when I arrived in Malaysia, that was when it was already during the week and it was class time. And the reason why I delayed like three weeks later was because my visa took a lot of time and made me lag behind with coming to Malaysia. And they wouldn't allow me to enter Malaysia unless my visa was approved. So, yeah. So then, um, he went back to class and I was just like, okay, let me just go and get some stuff. Like buy some beddings, buy some stuff because I um I already moved into hostel and some stuff for the room. I bought a kettle, blah 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 blah. So when I went shopping, I actually bought a lot of stuff, and I was like, oh my gosh, how the hell am I gonna take all these things to hostel and stuff like that? Mind you, I just came from Africa. I didn't know anything about this Uber or Grab car or whatever. We didn't know anything. You know, the only thing I knew was the local taxis and like I still wasn't like aware and advanced with the whole Uber car and all that stuff. So, um, and the shop was like upstairs and I wasn't allowed to go downstairs with the trolley to go to the meter taxis because I was using the meter taxis. I didn't know anything about Uber and all that stuff. So I called JB and I asked, cause like he gave me his number. He was a chill dude. He was the nicest person when I arrived. And um, I asked him if he could help me with carrying my stuff to hostel and stuff like that. And I don't know if we took a meter taxi or we actually both walked. I think we both walked. Um, and like this guy was in class. And he sacrificed his class time to come and help me with carrying my stuff to um, hostel. And I was surprised that he actually did this because, like, guys don't do these things. You know, they're not. Guy, which guy does this? Like, you don't know me. Like, we've just met one day and all this stuff. And then you come and you make a huge sacrifice um, to go to to skip class just to come and help me. So that was on, this was the first day we met and I knew that this is somebody that I can trust and this is somebody, I knew he was gonna be a really good friend because of doing that. And I knew this was something, this is somebody that I can really trust. And you know, I was alone in Malaysia. I didn't really know anyone I was, I came alone, I traveled alone, I just left South Africa and all that stuff. So I I instantly trusted him and because of this. So yeah, and as we were walking to go and you know take my stuff to hostel, um he asked me some questions. He was like, uh so what's your religion? And I, I was just like, oh, I'm Muslim. I lied to him, I'm actually Christian. So I lied to him, I was like, I'm Muslim, what are you? And then he's like, oh, really? I'm like, yeah, and he's like, me too. And I'm like, fuck, no. Are you serious? I was joking though. Like, I was like, yeah, and like, um, I'm actually Muslim and stuff like that. I was like, fuck. <sighs> Red alert, red alert, red alert. Here's the reason why it's a red alert. I told myself, like, um, I am not going to date a Muslim. Even if I find a Muslim and all this shit, eh? I don't care. He can be the finest guy, whatever. I'm just going to cut him off, not talk to him, blah, 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 and stuff like that. I There's no fucking way I'm... I'm involving myself with a Muslim. That's why I told myself before I arrived in Malaysia that I'm like, I am done. Turn the fire down. Hey! Yo, 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 yo. So this is what's going on in my head. I'm like, fuck. This guy is Muslim. What the fuck am I going to do right now? Like, all these things are processing in my head. I'm just like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. What's going to happen? Like, all this shit. 
and stuff like that. So, um, I, I didn't know what to do, you know, because I was just like, there's no way we're, we're gonna date like that. That's legit. Because, you know, <laughs> well, you see, the thing is, I, I don't really have anything against Muslims. It's just that, you know, like, I just have that perception that, okay, if I'm to get married to a Muslim, probably I'll be like the fourth wife or like he'll probably have so many wives and all this stuff and I don't trust people like this you know like they're so open to all this thing like if you're a Christian you won't stay with me or nobody else period you know what I'm saying that's so that's, those are the things that are going on in my head and all that stuff so I was just like and also my dad told me joy you can have a boyfriend as long as he is Christian as long as you guys don't have sex and as long as he doesn't interrupt with your studies <laughs> guys it's intense hey so like all this stuff is like processing in my head and i'm just like okay there's no way me and this dude we're dating anyway let's just be friends or whatever so yeah you know like i never told him that i was just like oh okay so yeah um so as days go by like we're, we we become friends we become close friends and all this stuff and like what made it worse was i would like we were in the same class and we got to see each other every day and you know like it reached a point where i would like dress up to go to class just to impress this guy because bitch he's so fine as fuck like my nigga be fine <sighs> anyway <laughs> so um so then like you know there are times where like we'd both dress up like he would dress up to come to class all swagged up all nice with his shades and you know his cap and brought this guy ha <laughs> oh my gosh i'm done and like you know for me i'd also dress up to go to class and stuff like that to make myself look pretty and you know it was torture for me because i'm like oh my gosh this guy is so hot how is he muslim like that's what's processing in my head you know like this is these are things that are going on in my head but whatever let me just move on whatever we're really cool friends so i'm like there's probably something wrong with this guy you know like when 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 you like interested in someone else you just want to be like uh, uh there must be something else wrong with him he can't be the the really nice like you can't be that perfect or whatever blah 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 so yeah and then um we got to be friends for like a month we got to be really close friends we'd meet up like every weekend to eat out talk chill um about so many things like he was like a close friend like a best friend and all that stuff so um there was a time I was so there was a time I was like so stuck up because like I was missing my best friend I just before I came to Malaysia I was in uh, Uganda and I was chilling with my best friend most of the time and all that stuff so my best friend is a guy by the way my former best friend or best friend or whatever but yeah I don't think we're really best friends anymore or whatever but yeah um so like i was telling him about me kind of like catching feelings for my best friend and blah 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 and you know he was like oh okay sorry about that and stuff like that and then you know like i was telling him that you know how i wanted to like have like um friends with benefits like I wish I had a guy because I just lost my I've only slept with like two guys in my life and I just lost my virginity to some random dude in South Africa it's just some random dude because of my ex he fucked me up that guy fucked me up to a point where I was like nah I'm not giving him my virginity I'm gonna lose it to someone random <laughs> like that was me you know I'm like there's no fucking way this guy fucked me up he messed me up and everything he made like I, I sacrificed everything for my ex-boyfriend so yeah 
so I was telling him about my story and everything and like it reached a point where I was just like you know I really wish I had um, uh, I really wish I had somebody who who I could like have friends with benefits with and all that stuff like we'd just be friends and we'd just be messing around and all that stuff then he's like he's like, he, then Jay was like so are you serious about it and I'm like yeah like I just wish I could have a friend who could you know just a guy friend we're friends but then we like mess around sometimes and all that stuff and he was like are you serious and I'm like yeah he's like come through tomorrow and I'm like are you serious <laughs> to another you know like we were it was kind of like an awkward moment for me you know um he was i don't know we were in the room we're chilling i don't know what happened oh we, like i came to his house and we were like chilling we we're together all that stuff we're chilling in his room and stuff we're just talking like casually but we'll, I was kind of like nervous and stuff like that he was also nervous so he decided to like get rid of that awkwardness between me and him in the room together because like bruh it was intense so um he was like hey do you do you want to get a massage can I massage you and stuff like that and um this is the first night guys sure So like he gave me a massage and um I kind of like got turned on because of that massage and all that stuff to a point where I was like okay um I'm going to the bathroom <laughs> I had to go clean up myself because I, I I went to the bathroom so I went to the bathroom and um I I told him like sorry I had to go to the bathroom to clean up myself Oh, I was, as I was, before I went to the bathroom, I was like, sorry, I had to go to the bathroom and clean up myself. Then I rushed. I, I just ran away, like, <laughs> you know, I just ran to the bathroom and stuff like that. And I think he was, like, smiling in the room. He was like, like, this guy, this guy, yeah? he got some, oh, man. Fuck. Anyway, so, <laughs> whew. Guys, it's intense.